I have something to show you. I made something. So I made some gaiters to keep the snow from hitting my ankles. And uh, they have Velcro to cover up the zippers. I'll show you more closely. And uh, I made it out of some uh, old tent material. And then I think this was from a bag <clears throat> that I had. And then uh, just some other materials and things. They're uh, they got stretchy up here and then it comes down over my ankles. Um, I used them on my run this morning and uh, they kept the snow off pretty good. Uh, the only thing is I need to keep this part down. So I need to figure out a way to probably go underneath my shoe or something <clears throat> with the strap. Because as it was, the snow was kind of coming up when it was deep. But yeah, I made these. <clears throat> the way that they, they have our Velcro right here. The Velcro is to help keep the snow off the, the zipper. And then there's a zipper so that they can come off. <clears throat> and uh, there's a look at the inside. So I've got a stretchy bit here at the top that cinches down. And then uh, <clears throat> the bottom is just warm fitted to go around. And I've got uh, <clears throat> when the zipper closes on here, there's this flap here on the inside that protects the zipper from hitting my skin if I'm going bare. Um, most of the time, I'd probably be wearing these because it'd be winter time. <clears throat> um, but I could totally wear this with like my pants coming over the top, or I could put this over my pants as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, I really like that I've got this protective layer that helps keep the, 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 the this material safe. But then also, if I hit anything harder, it's got a little bit more toughness to it. So I used a. Uh, <clears throat> A stitch like this on most of the detail parts and then there's uh, keeping the stitching it's not super clean but I think my sewing machine has a little bit of a tension issue so it does that a lot but um, yeah I really like some of the design features I still have a few stray strings that I need to get rid of from the sewing machine but yeah I'm really excited about them I uh, was really excited to show some of the guys at work because I told them I was going to be making these and yeah. A couple of unused materials. I have a bin that I have saved a lot of like zippers and straps and different things over the years. And uh, as part of this project, um, I had bought a tent from the DI that I was going to take apart. It turns out that that tent was a good tent so I took apart an old tent that I had that had a broken pole so now I've got some more materials that I can use the tent was like this color but I might be building some other stuff with this orange but <clears throat> for the most part I wanted it to be gray and black so I might print something on this black material something white that kind of brings in the white threading but I haven't decided what I want to print on there yet some kind of design but as it is they work out pretty good so uh, here's a clip of me uh, using them all right so now i want to show off kind of how i made this made these so i started off with <clears throat> this main panel right here and then i added this the circle part so you can see it's actually a circle and that's what creates the shape, the cone around my foot. And uh, <clears throat> so I started with those two and I attached these, sewed them together. And then there's these panels here and here. And this one I had to attach when I did the zipper. So the way I did those is I did a stitch connecting the items together <clears throat> with the zipper. And then I came back in and added the uh, trim piece. So there's actually stitching underneath this piece um, holding the flap and the zipper and the back and the main panel together. Um, if you look at a lot of like bags or some clothing, you'll you'll notice that they actually put another piece of material. It's just like <clears throat> on the edge right here. It's not just the 
the um, the material. I've got another piece of heavier duty material that will hold up a lot better. That way I don't get tears and stuff in the in the material. Um, so I did that. So I, so I first put the two vertical pieces together, added the zippers. And then after that, I was just a matter of adding the bungee. <clears throat> and the way that I did that is I attached it on one end and then on the other end. And then I held it tight as I sewed all these pieces in. And then uh, it was just a matter of putting all the Velcro on to hold it in place and adding the straps and all that stuff. Um, there was a lot of work going into designing. I know I wanted to make sure that I could pull it off my leg. I know I wanted to be able to put it on and off uh, without having to slip it on. Um, I had worked out some ideas where I had like a lace or some kind of stretchy thing, but then that would have required me to be able to like pull it on and off. So I like the zipper idea because then I could zip it on and off without having to pull my shoes off and stuff like that. And then the, a couple of other design features that I wanted, I wanted to be able to cover up the zipper with some kind of flap. <clears throat> and then I wanted the protection on the front. The uh, <clears throat> In hindsight, I would actually kind of want the stretchy material here at the ankle as well. Because <clears throat> as it is right now, the ankle part on one of them is a little bit tight. I should have gone a little bit bigger. And I could have gone a lot bigger <clears throat> and then added the zip, the stretchy part in there, which would have cinched it around my ankle a little bit better. But it works as it is. Maybe if I design a second version, I'll uh, incorporate that into it. But that's it.